Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a fun one for you today. We've got a dynamic header up here. When I hover over it, it's going to change color. And also the background's going to animate a little bit there with some dividers. We had somebody request this. We're going to make this dynamic so you can use it on any page and we'll show you how to save it to your library and reuse it. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down and delete this section we've got here. I've got a section in the blue tab here. I'm just going to hit the trash can and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to go down and create a new section, a little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to use a single column, single row in my section. Module wise, I'm going to roll right down to the bottom. I'm just going to use a text module. As you can see, it puts in a bit of dummy text for us. If we roll over this text, we're going to use dynamic content for this today. There's a little icon there that looks like a little disc if you hover over it and left click on it. You can select what kind of dynamic content you want to use. I'm going to use my page archive title. So it automatically pulls in from the database the name of the page. As you can see, it's changed it to clicked, which is actually the name of the page there. Great, well, let's style this a bit more like we want it. So I'm going to go over to design, I'm going to go over to text. I'm going to use a chunkier font. So I'm going to go down to text font. One I want to use today is actually called Anton. So I'm going to put a search in at the top. There it is. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it blue initially. I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Let's make it sort of 60 picks. Obviously, the styling is entirely up to you. And I'm going to capitalize it. Great. I want the letters to be a little more spaced out. So I'm going to just take the letter spacing up a little bit. That'll work for me. I'm going to give it a bit of text shadow. And I'm going to pop it into the middle. Great, but I do want it to actually change color when we hover over it. So I'm gonna have it change from the blue to perhaps a white or something like that. Let's go up to our text color. And to change color on hover, just hover over the dark writing. This is common to all Divi modules. You'll see a little arrow there. Now desktop states the color without the mouse rolling over it. And hover state is when the mouse is on it. So when the mouse is on it, I'm gonna change it to white. There we go. Now I know that disappears in the background a bit, but we're going to fix that in a minute by changing the background of our little section there. Great, let's put that back how it was. Desktop version. Okay, well we can save our changes now. Let's pop this section on the top, which is where I want it. So I'm going to go up to the blue tab, left click on the little cross up there, put it up to the top and release. Great. Well, let's decorate it a little bit so you can distinguish it from the other backgrounds there. So I'm going to go into my section again, the blue tab. I'm going to go over to design and dividers. On the top, I'm going to click on top. I'm going to add something perhaps like this, a little two-tone one. And let's make it blue. I'm going to go into that color and take the opacity down a bit so it's a little more subtle. I'm going to take it about halfway down. It's entirely up to you, obviously. Divide a height initially, I think I'll only have it like 50 pixels or something like that. So I'm just going to type the 50 in there. But when they hover over it, I want it to be a lot bigger. So again, I'm going to roll over the dark writing. I'm going to hit the little arrow. Hover state. Let's make it, say, 400 pixels. As you can see, it's curved all the way down like that. Great. Well, I'm going to do similar for the bottom. I'm going to go and hit the bottom. I'm going to choose the divider that I want there. I'll do it sort of opposite number. This one I'm going to have purple perhaps. Again, I'm going to take the opacity down a bit so those colors will blend in with each other. And height wise, initially, again, I'll have it 50 pixels. And then when they hover over it, 
I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Again, I've made mine 400 pixels there. So we've got that on desktop and this on hover. And the time it takes to go from one to the other would divvy by default 300 milliseconds. I'm going to slow mine down for a bit of grace. So I'm going to go over to the advance, down to transitions. And I'm going to make mine about half a second. There's the default 300. 550 is close enough. Ease, that, that'll work. I'm actually going to use ease in and out. They're all slightly different. Some will work better in some situations than others. Easy now is usually my hover go to. So let's save that now. And this is what we got. When we roll over it, remember that text will change color also. Now I want to be able to use this on any page and I want it to come up with a page title whenever we use it. So to do that, let's save it to our library. So again, I'm going to go up to the whole section here little round button just to the left of the trash can there. I'm going to click on it. We'll give it a name. Say dynamic title. And hit the save to library. Great. We'll save our changes here. Make sure this is going to work on the front end. And I'll show you how to add it to any page you want. Save draft. And exit the visual builder. And there it is. When I roll over, the right is going to change color and the background is going to animate like that. And that's an interesting little header to have on your site. So let's go to another page now and demonstrate how to load it and see how it's going to work. I'm going to add a brand new page. We'll give it a title let's call it dynamic dynamic title perhaps we'll use a divi builder we'll build from scratch I'm gonna X out up here I'm gonna hit the little blue button to add a new section I'm gonna add from my library which is where we saved it and it'll be all the way down the bottom got a lot of sections saved here there's my dynamic title. I'm going to use this section. And it's popped it in there. And it's given it the name that we gave this page dynamic title. Of course, I want it up the top. So let's just get rid of that one there. And to add it to an existing page, you can do exactly the same thing. Let's save this. We'll go down to the dashboard. And we'll go down to our pages. I've got a page here called three blue. Let's just do that one. I'm going to hit the edit with Divi and we'll go up there. And to add it to this page, we'll do exactly the same thing. We'll go down, add a new section, add from library, all the way down to the bottom again. There it is. We'll use that section. And it's popped it in down here. I'm going to move it up to the top. And as you can see, it's given it that dynamic title there or the title of the page. Let's save our changes and exit the visual builder. And there it is. There's our little dynamic header. If I roll over it, it's going to change color and the background's going to animate for us. When you take your mouse off, it's going to disappear back. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. So there you go guys, there's how to add a dynamic animated header to any of your pages. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.